morning. It is 6 a.m. <sighs> my feet, no, my legs hurt like shit. I don't think I can walk anymore. Uh, I just had a morning swim in the pool and um, I again realize how fucking crazy it is that I'm living here. Like, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Every morning. And um, I don't know, I was just struck by, I think gratefulness is not the right word for how I was feeling. It's more like awe, awe for the nature, for all these colors, for all these tiny little cute creatures that are roaming around, that are creating this ecosystem. Yeah. How am I living here? It's just not... Wow, I think I just had my very first kind of bad experience with, um, with a client. Um, so basically we had a um, verbal agreement with a client about um, new services that we're gonna do for them um, and obviously charging more for the, these new services and um, we already did part of the work of that additional stuff I already paid a contractor who I took on for doing that additional stuff so I already paid out the person who was doing the additional stuff and um, now the client is backtracking and is saying that you know doesn't see the value in it and um, I don't know what other issues there are maybe it's actually financial um, but basically backtracking on the verbal agreement that we had on doing the initial stuff um, so that's interesting i mean i'm i'm hopping on a call with that client either today or tomorrow to kind of talk things through so maybe we can resolve this and um obviously i'm not naming names and i don't i don't think that is like anything bad about that person but um it's the first time where like i'm realizing you know like formalizing things and like having a contract like even like we are on a contract but we now kind of extended the offering of that contract but that was only a verbal agreement um and yeah and then just you know the risk of doing things up front and um as I said, I already paid a contractor for that work. So yeah, it's just uh, interesting. It's a new experience, you know. Okay, quick first lesson out of this. Don't talk things through through messaging or written stuff, but like hop on a call because I'm going to hop on a call with that client tomorrow, but it just went back through kind of our... Um, like written back and forth communication that we just had on this topic and basically I kind of fucked up um, or at least we both kind of fucked up because I think we both got um, kind of um, defensive because basically it started out with that client saying that he's uncomfortable with the pricing a bit where he's not sure yet whether he sees the value of it. And so obviously my first reaction was like, I'm gonna to prove to him that it's worth it. So I went on to kind of like listing all the things that are actually included. Um, and yeah, then it just started to become a back and forth of like, this is included, but this should cost this much, but then this is also included and this should justify this much, but I don't really want this part. So, and it just started to become a price um, conversation, which is never good. And so, yeah, it started out with just saying that, um, 
he's he's a bit uncomfortable because he isn't yet sure whether he sees the full value and then it ended with um, I don't think this arrangement is gonna work so <clears throat> first lesson taking it right away if something like this happens ever again don't go into the mode of like trying to prove it but just hop on a call and talk things through and also when you're doing that be in a like distance mode and you're not like because obviously i'm invested right like uh because he's basically saying we're overcharging and i'm like no like we're actually and i truly believe like we are delivering we are over delivering so much compared to what we're pricing and so like i took it personal right like i'm like that that's what happened and so um first lesson don't take it personal and talk it out on a call when you're both like removed a bit and not like in the moment of you know that mode yeah This is a cute little cafe that we found on the side of the road and it's still fucking hipster. Well, actually they have, they have Russian food, which excites her, but I'm just getting on that. I need that protein, so. Just finished the gym and guess what I'm eating? One tiki masala, two tiki masala. They smell though. You can't really see anything, but it's raining and it smells amazing. They should create perfume that smells like rain. I think that would sell pretty well. Yeah. This is amazing. Also, I'm not sleeping at my own place today, which is also kind of cool. So, see you tomorrow. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up